Mm. Blessed love people. Welcome to How Can I Help Speak on this channel and this is Murphy. Let me first say, uh, give thanks and praise unto the most high for his guidance and protection, his grace and mercy and his everlasting love. And to know that without him nothing is possible, but all things are possible with him and through him. So I'll continue to praise him and glorify him. For his blessings and his love upon my children and dear children, all the way up. Welcome to How Can I Help Speak on this channel. And this is Murphy. I just want to talk a little bit up top about this topic today. I guess by now everybody know about the incident that happened on Facebook Easter Sunday. Still really touching me, bothering me a lot. Where this 74 year old man got killed randomly by some idiot who have his personal problem and decided to take it out on innocent people who don't do him anything. And trust me, if this was a time that back in the days when I used to say certain things and I didn't have a problem with it, I would have cussed that man. I would have lashed out, but it wouldn't make any sense because he ain't going to hear it. But it's just how I feel. An innocent old man, 74 years old. You understand? 74 years old. That man is 20 years, that old man is 20 years older than me. And he's a grandfather. I'm a grandfather. You understand? He's a father and I'm a father. His kids lost him and his grandchildren lost him. And this man had his problem and he decided to go take it out on an old man, an innocent person. That is very, very sad, man. And then to wake up this morning and to find out that he killed himself. He decided to take the easy way out. Real coward. Real coward. When you look at it, people, he picked an innocent old man to go and kill him. Why didn't he just walk into a group where there are some younger guys? Because I'm pretty sure he knows a lot of them. And just decide you're going to do that. I don't understand why is it when people have their problem or when they're go through, going through their, their problems at home or problems with your husband or problems with your girlfriend or whatever it is. Why is it that they always end up taking it out on innocent people? Why is that? Why you never take it out on the person who are doing you wrong? Or why don't you just, instead of go kill somebody, just kill yourself, man. Innocent old man, whether he's old or young, an innocent man, just went out to do the stuff that he likes to do and to go back home to his kids and his grandchildren. And for him to lose his life like that. And for that sucker to take the easy way out by killing himself. Because he know what would have happened to his ass if he ended up in jail. Pardon my language. He know what would have happened to him if he had ended up in jail. He know what would have happened to him if some people had found him. He know what would have happened to him if maybe the law had found him. He knows what would have happened. So he take the easy way out, the little shit ass punk. It really bothers me to know that he turned around and killed himself. It bothers me because I wanted him was to get catch. I didn't want him to take the easy way out. I wanted him to get catch. I wanted him to get catch and somebody could deal with him and let him feel something. Just torture him while he's alive. I'm sorry. Mom, forgive me. Forgive me, but I am feeling this way because this man done wrong to innocent people. So I asked my mother to forgive me for my behavior on this video. And all the people who I respect and who respect me. But I am really ticked off to know that this kill himself. Why you have to take the easy way out? You just randomly walk up to this old man and take this man's life. You take him away from his children and from his grandchildren. 
and nobody have a chance to really put one on you. You're a damn coward. That's why you kill yourself, because you shit ass know that they were gonna get you. And you know you won't gonna get it good. And you're trying to put the blame on your mother and then your girlfriend. The final word out of your mouth when you come out of your car is that you're putting it on your girlfriend and on your mother. Because nobody listened to you when you wanted to talk to them. Yo, man, you're not the first band. And you won't be the last that have problems with women or whatever the case may be. And like I said before, why don't you guys find yourself some damn place and go do away with yourself instead of to mess with innocent people who don't do you nothing. And there's a lot more coward ones out there too. But why don't you guys think about it? Before you decided to come out to your car or your house and go kill innocent people, Boss one in your own face now, or in your own head. Just put one inside of your own body and be no more. Be no more. I've been hurt by women before. I've known people with problems before, but nobody's trying to find no damn excuse. And that son of a bitch find an excuse to go kill that man. I am telling you, I am so thick. Right now I'm supposed to be on my lunch break at work. And I can't even go on a lunch break because I'm really ticked. I want to use my break time and talk about this. Because it could have been me or it could have been somebody else that I know. And it can happen. Because with all the crazy people out there, Anything can happen to any innocent person. There was no way, no how that man left his house and decided to go do his daily thing that he loves to do and to come back home. There was no way, no how that he thought that he wouldn't make it back home. And to be honest with you, when I see that guy came out of the car and walk across the street to the old man, I didn't really think that he was going to do it. Because to me, listening to him and watching that video, him just seems like somebody who, you know, when I would say, people do something that they know they're not supposed to do. And deep down inside them, them they've been iffing and butting and iffing and butting about it. But on the, the surface, they're talking about it like, they're this iron and mighty and proud and whatever it is. He's a punk. Because like I said, he wouldn't go in front of some people or some youths and do that. Or some, some other mans and do that. Or some gangster and do that. Why didn't he try that shit with some gangster? Why didn't you try that with some hardcore people? But you see the look of old man and walk down the street. And you take his life. God forbid, the minute you walk across the street for shoot that old man, there should be somebody walking behind you and pop one on you. Like I said, I'm a grandfather and I feel it for those children. Because there's no more grandpa to go outside and go throw the ball with them no more. Or whatever they do on their special time at grandpa. Grandpa is no more. Just because of some menace to society. Trying to find an easy way out of life. And out of your responsibility and whatever it is. I've been with women. Woman left me before. Woman left me and woman tell me hurtful things in my face. And on the phone. And I'm still here today. I didn't lift a finger on nobody. Not even to the woman herself. Because I know. I love my life man. And whatever she do to me. She gonna get it back. Some way, somehow, she gonna get it back. I don't have to do it. I love my freedom too much and my life and I've been through some real hard, hard hurt. That a lot of people tell me, say, boy, they never, they don't think them could have put up with our stand what I stand. But I'm still here today that even them same women who leave me, me and them, some of them still talk. And I have good relationship and good friendship.
Me not giving nobody. I don't give a crap who you are. No man on the face of this earth. I ain't giving you no power over me, man. No man, no woman. You ain't getting no power over me. I ain't going to love you that much that I have to go kill you. ain't God. You're not God. And God is the only one that I love so much that I would for him. But for no woman, for no one, I'm going to give you that power that I have to go out the street and go kill innocent people because of something you do. I'd rather come look for you. I'd rather come look for you and just take you out. I know my mother is going to be a little bit disappointed in me about this video because it seems like I really touched a little bit. But like I said, I haven't been in this way in a long time, but this really bothers me to see what happened to this old man. Because he doesn't deserve it, man. He doesn't deserve it, man. Whatever rest of years that he had left on the face of this earth is for him and his grandchildren. And that's another gun take it away from them. He take those children, grandfather, away. God is good, and without Him I am nothing, but with Him I am all things. So I'll continue to praise Him, glorify Him each and every blessed day. Each and every blessed day. You see why we have to be more vigilant, people, because as a matter of fact, being vigilant ain't got nothing to do with it. Because you're just randomly, you know, <laughs> people walking by you every day, you don't even know who is going to be the person to do something like that or do something more. It's sad. It's sad. I hope when my viewers and subscribers watch this video, if your grandparents are still alive, you hug them and you tell grandpa how much you love him. And you make grandpa know how well, your life would end if that if he is ever gone. Like that. And you let grandpa know how much his grandchildren them love him. Trust me. Because you can be here today and gone tomorrow. Just like that. By crazy people who are out there. Youths, both male and female, let grandpa know how you feel. All right? Don't wait until you don't see him anymore. Let him know right now. Okay? This is how can I help speak on this channel. This is Murphy. Murphyshas and Murfets. And to all the man them, bless upon yourself. God is good. And to that family who lost those kid children who lost their grandfather and the lady and the man who lost their father or the family who lost somebody very important my condolence to you guys and even to the mother and the girlfriend of the man who my condolence to you too May God bless you guys for the rest of your life. And being peace and no more of this destruction. I will finish my break with something to eat. One love. Oh. Like, share, subscribe. And I thank my viewers. That my subscribers for helping me to reach that goal of 100 subscribers by April. And April is still going. I appreciate it. So we're going to set a new goal after the end of this month. Alright? So bear with me. God is good. All the time.